opening with the king's pawn controls the center and opens up the light squared bishop and queen, often leading to sharp games. The Sicilian defense controls the d4 square with c-pawn. Nf3 develops the knight toward the center to prepare for a d4 pawn push, where the knight will recapture if black captures on d4. Nc6 helps control both the d4 square and the e5 square. Bb5 attacks the knight on c6 and prepares to castle kingside. g6 prepares to fianchetto the dark squared bishop to g7, where it will sit on the long diagonal. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. Bg7 puts the bishop on the long diagonal in a move called a fianchetto. One rupee develops the rook, supports the e4 pawn and opens up the f1 square. Nf6 develops the knight toward the center, attacks the e4 pawn and controls the d5 square. This kicks an opposing knight. This moves the knight to safety. This offers an equal trade of pieces. This move puts the knight on a safer square. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. Recaptures. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. An interesting move, although not technically the best. This evades the check from the knight. This moves the knight to safety. This adds pressure by pinning a knight. This prepares the bishop for development. It is the last book move. This ignores an opportunity to win a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. Right on target. It is best. This develops a queen off its starting square, getting it into the action. This threatens to win a pawn. It is excellent. The opposing bishop is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is best. This is an equal trade. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Takes back. It is best. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is excellent. This activates a queen by developing it off of its starting square. It is best. A solid choice. It is excellent. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. Very precise. It is best. That leaves a pawn vulnerable to being captured. It is an inaccuracy. This ignores an opportunity to capture a vulnerable pawn. It is a miss. This protects the attacked pawn. It is best. The rooks can see each other now allowing them to provide mutual defense. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. It is best. That's fine. It is good. This is a fair move. It is good. This protects an underdefended pawn that is under attack. This threatens to reveal an attack on a queen. It is best. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Recaptures. This threatens to reveal an attack on a queen. It is best. This loses a pawn. It is a blunder. This wins a pawn. This is the only move that works. This was a game-changing move, giving white a winning position. It is a great move. This move puts the knight on a safer square. It is excellent. This reveals an attack on a queen. It is best. One of the best moves. It is excellent. Takes back. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. This evades the check from the rook. It is excellent. This offers an equal trade of pieces. It is good. This forces the opponent to double their pawns, which weakens their pawn structure. It is best. Takes back. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. The rooks are coordinated and powerfully doubled on the file. It is good. Capturing that pawn wins material. It is best. Right on target. It is best. Very precise. It is best. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. That was a free pawn. It is excellent. This evades the check from the queen. It is best. 
This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. 